golf iron sweet spot location. Having trouble hitting the sweet spot on your irons? In this next video, I'm gonna show you how to hit the sweet spot in your irons and a simple drill to make it happen quickly. I'll see you soon. Hi, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. So before we get into how to hit the golf iron sweet spot location, I want to quickly touch on where is the sweet spot on your iron. So you've got a really good picture in your mind of where you need to be hitting the golf ball. So I've got an iron here, I've got a nine iron. Your sweet spot is going to be right around this area here. Now down the bottom here, this is your leading edge. And this is where you got a lot of those knife and thin shots. Right at the top here, this is where you might be getting a lot of fat shots. The toe area here and the heel area, those are two areas you definitely want to stay away from. We want to be hitting the sweet spot location which is right here and that's what's going to allow you to hit the ball straighter and further and play better golf. So in the next part of the video I'm going to show you exactly how to do that with a really simple drill that takes away all the guesswork that you can practice and get much better at hitting your irons. Okay, let's talk about some ways we can get into this golf iron sweet spot location a lot more consistently. So here are some characteristics that you need to be able to do to hit these irons in the sweet spot. Now, there's a few little things here to remember, but at the end of this, I'm gonna show you a really simple drill where you kinda of don't need to really think about any of these. They'll all tie in by performing this drill. But first of all, let's go through some of the characteristics of great iron shots that you see the really best players doing. So I'm set up to a ball here. This is the first one you need to have forward shaft lean and you need to have a flat lead wrist. All great iron players are in this sort of position at impact and they've de-lofted the iron. I've spoken about this before, irons to hit the sweet spot on an iron and hit it solid you need to have forward shaft lean. This is the way irons are designed, they're designed to be hit on an angle down like this, they're not designed to be hit like this. When you do that the club face tends to twist and rotate a lot and you get a lot of inconsistent shots. So you need to have a flat lead wristed impact, forward shaft lean, that's really, really important. The next thing you need, you need to be coming down to the ball in a slight descending path. In other words, you don't want to be coming down like this and trying to lift the ball into there. Irons are designed to be hit on a slight descending path. That way you get that forward shaft lean and you're actually de-lofting the iron. So if, if an iron is say 30 degrees, when you're at impact, you wanna be getting down to say maybe 25 degrees with your loft. So instead of being in this position, you wanna be in this position here at impact. You wanna be de-lofting, that's really, really important. The next thing you wanna be doing is you wanna be hitting, and this will usually happen as a result of doing those first two things, right? You wanna be taking a divot after the golf ball so where a lot of golfers go wrong is they they're set up to a ball here they'll be taking a divot somewhere back here somewhere then hitting the golf ball ideally what you want to be doing is hitting the ball first and then having a divot go past where the ball is I'll, I'll pop a video up above that goes into a bit more detail and a drill to help you out with that but that's really important for hitting the sweet spot in your golf irons now the last thing i want to touch on is you need to shallow out your golf swing on the downswing in particular so that you're coming through on a much better plane. Where a lot of golfers get into trouble and the reason they can't find the sweet spot, when they start their downswing they come down very steep. You can see the clubs coming down almost 90 degrees vertical and they'll cut across the golf ball and they'll catch either the toe here or the heel and they'll never or at least really struggle to hit that sweet spot. What you want to be aiming to do is when you go to the top, you want to be shallowing this club so it's coming down more vertical, more on a diagonal line like this, and coming more on this angle here towards the ball. If you can do that, and come more down like that, you'll hit that sweet spot much more often and play a lot more consistent goal. So there's a few things in great iron players that you need to be sort of aware of that you need to do. But I'm gonna show you a really simple drill now that's gonna fix all of those and take all the sort of guesswork out of it. 
Okay, here's a really simple drill to get into that golf iron sweet spot location. Now you can practice this one at home, you do not have to be hitting balls, but obviously once you feel like you've mastered this and you're pretty good without hitting balls at home, work your way up to the driving range just hitting short shots and this will really help out your game. So all you need for this is two tees. You can actually do this with any other sort of objects, it doesn't really matter, but for the purpose of this I'm going to use two tees. Now what I'm going to do, I'll show you from a couple of different angles, hopefully you can see this okay. I'm going to put two tees in the ground and this is called this is called the gate drill I've also called it's been called the two ball drill it doesn't really matter it, it all has the same purpose so what I'm aiming to do I've got these about I don't know if I measure my index finger and my thumb probably about this far apart so I don't know that's probably about six or seven inches apart depending on your ability you may want to start with them a little bit wider apart but the object of this is I want you to practice making swings and missing both those tees and just letting the club go right between them what this does it actually helps you hit the sweet spot and your irons so much easier because the club is coming down on a better path you don't have to be thinking about shallowing the club or any of those other things I spoke about. With this drill your brain will realise that it needs to get this club in between without hitting those tees and it will naturally make sure the club comes down on a better path and gets those positions right. So let's do one here. I'm just going to do a little, just a nice easy half swing. We set up our club right in between. and we swing through. And we're just aiming to miss those tees. As you get better at this, you can move them closer together just to make it a bit more difficult. You could do this at the driving range, actually putting two balls down there on the tee block there and practice hitting balls like this. But it works really effectively with striking that sweet spot on your iron. So I'll show you this from another different angle, just down towards the camera so you can get another look at it. Let's get one down there. I'll just do a nice easy one. Nice and easy, miss those two tees. If there was a ball there, there's a very good chance I was going to catch that right in the sweet spot. If you practice this at home, Try and do at least 20 reps of this a day or at least five minutes a day. Work your way up to hitting balls. That's really gonna help you hit that sweet spot every time. Drop a comment down below if you've tried this drill to hit the sweet spot on your irons. Maybe you've tried another drill that's worked really well. Or if you have any other questions or comments, drop them down below. I'll reply to every single comment. There you have it. Now you know the golf iron sweet spot location. Now very important before you go right above here I'll have a couple of additional videos that talk about how to hit solid golf iron shots that really tie in really well with this video. Make sure you check those out. Now below the video I'll have a link to my free three secret moves video. Make sure you click on that link 100% free. I'll have another link to some further golf instruction. Make sure you check that out. If you have any questions or comments about this video or another video please let me know. I'll reply to every single one of you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.